All right. Um, God, every day you wake up and look at the headlines, or I wake up and look at the headlines. I don't know about you guys. And there's some headline about 29,836 deaths in Gaza, or today, more than 100 killed as crowds wait for aid, Hamas-run health ministry says. That's not bad because that's a fairly, you know, uh, killed by whom, one might ask. How did they die? Uh, it's good. This is at the BBC. I'm shocked. Uh, uh, you know, typically a BBC headline would be more than 100 killed by Israelis as crowd waits for aid, Hamas-run health ministry says. Maybe they'd even skip the Hamas-run health ministry says or put it in a footnote. Uh, but now they don't even blame it on Israel yet. They're waiting to see maybe what the facts are. That's a change. That's a change. Um, so I, I, I give them credit for that. But, it, but it's constant, right, uh, in, in terms of the death toll and how many numbers. Now, the latest is that Israel has killed more than 30,000. And that's like a big number, 30,000. Wow, there must be a war crime. They've killed 30,000 Palestinians. And it's, it's just absurd. It's not a numbers game. It, you know, there's no standard by which if you kill three, that's okay. We're fine. But if you kill 5,000, that's not. But when you kill 10,000, that's okay again. And uh, you know, what? what's the calculation? How do you do this? Is it a percentage of the population? Is it, I mean, this is really the only war that I can think of. Maybe there are others. I'm sure there probably are others. Where the population is held consciously, purposefully as human shields. It's the only war that I can recall right now where hospitals are used as bases for command and control. It's the only war in which schools, where rockets are being launched from schools. It's the only, it's the only war where there are explicit hostages, not prisoners of war held in a camp, right? I mean, why aren't the Palestinians, why isn't Hamas following the Geneva Conventions? And why, God damn it, why isn't a single international organization condemning Hamas for not fulfilling the, 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 the conventions, the, the war crime conventions? Israel has to. But why aren't these hostages held as prisoners of war? Why are they even held? Most of them are not soldiers. So... Why isn't, why isn't there a death count, an ongoing death count of how many Ukrainian civilians the Russians have killed? But here, every day, you get a number, as if it indicates something, as if it means anything. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, Israel has done more to try to avoid civilian casualties in this war than any military force has ever done in any place ever in all of history. More than even the Americans did during the Iraq war, and that was already ridiculous. And who suffers because Israel does so much to protect Palestinian lives? Israeli soldiers, Israeli mothers and fathers, Israeli spouses, Israeli children that are losing their sons, their husbands, their fathers. And yet there's a daily count. And the daily count, by the way, is produced by, oh, that completely objective, unbelievable organization that cares about objectivity and truth, the Hamas-run health ministry. And nobody sees irony in that. Nobody gives a damn about the fact that they, every day, they're citing propaganda directly from the mouth of the propagandists. Now, I don't know how many people are killed in Gaza. It could be more, it could be less. I don't really care. So 100 people died, you know, waiting for aid to be delivered. According to the Israelis, those people died because they, uh, they uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, attacked the aid trucks, 38 trucks that were coming in. And, uh, you know, the, the, the Palestinians are fed up with all this aid going to the hands of Hamas and Hamas deciding who gets it, Hamas keeping much of it, and them not getting it. And they're starving and they're hungry. They're starving and they're hungry not because of Israel. They're starving and they're hungry because of Hamas. And there was a stampede. People, people got stampeded on. 
And then they got run over by the trucks. More people got run over. They died from that. And then separately, a few hundred meters from there, this site, the, the, some frustrated Palestinians uh, started, you know, running towards an Israeli uh, a, a military unit that fight in the air tried to stop them. They wouldn't stop. They shot them. But that's not the story the Hamas-run Ministry of Health tells. They're saying, no, Israel just opened fire on people peacefully, taking aid from the trucks. Israel just decided to kill 100 of them. What the hell? This will make good headlines. And of course, Biden and the leader of Qatar, the leader of Qatar, the funder of Hamas, the funder of ISIS, the funder of Al Qaeda, a terrorist organization as a government. Joe Biden and the Emir Sheikh Tamim Al Hamad, Al Tam Thamni or whatever of Qatar, discussed the tragic and alarming incident that left more than 100 people killed in Gaza. <laughs> as if the Qataris care. I mean, the blood of everybody dying in Gaza is on the Qataris. They're the one who have given safe haven to Hamas. They're the ones who sanctioned Hamas. They're the ones who have given a home to Hamas. They're the ones who funded Hamas. So it's on them, since all this blood is the responsibility of Hamas and the people who made them possible, the Iranians and the Qataris.